retro rock plays everything. Hey Rob here and today we're going to be talking about Crumble by Crimson Owl Studios. This is part of my continuing voyage to find each and every stinking breakout game on Steam. Uh, I'm going to turn these into a playlist now. I did a video that was each and every one and a couple developers have sent me theirs. This is one of them uh, that I didn't include on that list. It'll probably be in a link. I, I'm just going to turn it into an actual playlist so uh, you can just get them all in one spot. But anyway, uh, I'm a huge Breakout fan. Uh, my first ever video game system was a handheld backlit, by the way, this is this is a 1979 model game system, too. Uh, Pong game. Uh, not Pong game. Breakout game. It was Pong game, too. You could play it two players. Pong. But anyway, uh, it was awesome. I played it just constantly. I finished it several times and just loved it. So I've been a big fan of uh, Breakout and its, uh, its clones forever now. Uh, I, you know, led into DX Ball. I'm rambling now really doesn't matter to you does it doesn't really matter at all but what does matter is Karambal is a pretty cool game I'm going to give you a fair heads up that I was indeed given a key to cover this game however I only cover games that I like <laughs> so <laughs> if uh, if I didn't like it you wouldn't have heard about it so it's it's pretty cool I'm going to give you a couple of uh, hints and tips right away at the beginning uh, number one, I forgot the point score for one of them. Darn it! Ah. Anyway, I'll I'll tell you that during game if I uh, if I get one of the little little buggers. But the first thing you might want to try out is uh, this is a new section that they added, but this is the skill level section right here. And uh, let me bring it on screen for me because I can't really see it right now. I'm just pointing at uh, Eddie thing. I'm pointing at uh, at the I'm pointing at the screen I'm recording from. All right, here we go. Skill levels. <laughs> what was I saying there? It's going to be one of those days. Anyway, uh, skill levels basically trains you on how to, how to do some of the specialized moves. Uh, specific, specifically, the one I think you should probably check out there. They're actually kind of fun uh, anyway, but check out Spin Master here. Uh, Spin Master shows you how to put a little bit of English on the ball. They've got... They've got the usual uh, breakout and pong system where you know you hit different parts of the bat to uh, go in different directions. However, they also have kind of a an English you can spin onto the ball like some of the bowling games have, and it's it's pretty cool. But this will help you master that. I'm a lot better now than I was, uh, largely because of this section. So you might want to look through some of these if you're weak in something. This will really help you out. And they're kind of fun in their own right, too, so that's nice, too. All right, so let's go into story here. Uh, I am right here. This is kind of weird because I can actually play through this level. I don't know. Anyway, I, I finished this one, but it didn't show this one as unlocked for a while. Actually, the lock's gone now. Oh, good. It, it took a while to unlock. It's a beta. <laughs> that kind of stuff happens. All right, so we're going to play through level 2.3. I, I just like this level. Uh, it doesn't have every feature in the game, but it'll give you a good idea of what the game feels like. Karambal! It says that at the beginning. Sorry. Just, just going with it. Just go with it. All right. So some things you need to know. Yeah, this is a very... Uh... Hey, I can use a space bar for that, too. Um, one mechanic that is regularly in this game is the idea that you should charge... Your shots. What I'm doing is I'm holding down the space bar, but you can also use the um, hold on. You can also use the left mouse button to do that. Hold on. All right. So when I charge my shot, it becomes powerful. And you see those red bricks? Boom! I can break through them now, where it was just bouncing off them harmlessly before. And it it makes the game kind of harder because you know, you're often waiting to last second to do that charged brick. And uh, it'll, it'll throw you off. Sometimes you'll lose a life. Now, some Pong basics for you. The real trick to being okay at Pong uh, versus a total suckage player 
is keep your eye on the ball. It's just like baseball uh, in, that, in that way. Keep your eye on the ball and you'll be fine. The thing is, in Crumble, you can't always keep your eye on the ball because there are these little uh, crumbly guys falling towards you. I'll show you that in a minute. And they are worth points and they come in three colors. Yellow for two points. Green for five points. And red for I cannot remember how many points. That's the one I couldn't remember. That sucks. It's back row. Of course, there are drops. By the way, some drops you have to use by clicking on your right button. There are some drops that you might not want. Oh, here. This is a first person view drop. Uh, it throws me off every time. I try not to collect it, but I wanted to show you it for like one second, apparently. Didn't survive very long. That's always the problem with it. That's an extra life. Uh, some of them you do have to right click for. Uh, specifically, there is one that improves your focus. I think we'll be able to use that on the next level. The levels tend to be written for a specific function. So, you know, you'll use a different one on each level. Although you, you'll get them all probably, you'll use one specifically on each level. All right, so you are constantly charging this using your left mouse button or the space bar, pick your poison. Darn it, I should have done that eye thing. There you go. Don't avoid the shrinking ones. You are collecting your little crumbles that come down. See, plus two, plus two, plus two. And you are wiping out the boxes. Boom. Trying not to keep the slack jaw that happens when you focus. It's a bad thing to do. Aw, oh, man. Now, I didn't really want to do that. I didn't want to go in that exit. By the way, the exit is unlocked by hitting so many blocks. Um, the problem with that is I scored less points and there's uh, three little bonuses you can get at the end. One is for finishing the level as fast as you can. Uh, number two is points and number three of course is just finishing the level. You get little badges at the end. You also get more points for some of the things too. Come on. In addition to the first person, uh, <laughs> the first person pickup, uh, there's one that pixelates the screen. Did I mention that already? I hope I didn't. It's kind of funny once you get on like the third take of something, you forget what you covered before. But anyway, yeah, there's a pixelate the screen one. There's the focus one that I told you about that I think should show up in this level at some point. You can, of course, uh, have a little laser gun that shoots as well. Extra life. Yay. Oh, God. I had a shrink. And, you know, uh, us middle-aged people, we hate nothing more than shrinkage. Just want to say. There we go. Now, I want to hit that little demon in the back, by the way. He's the boss. Yeah, you see that little bastard spit it out? Well, jerk. That cost me an entire game once. I didn't realize he was spitting it out. Him. By the way, you don't have to charge your shot to kill him. Love the flying TNT. Ah, there we go. All right, and now this world is complete. And I will show my bonuses. My score was probably pretty pathetic, I'm thinking. I'll get some extras for having bumpers, though, I think. No, I won't. So 515, not the best one ever. So the third award I could get is, <laughs> pointing at that, 
It doesn't matter. I can't point at either screen. Mm. Over there, uh, the third award I could have got was for time. Uh, as far as compatibility goes, uh, you can play Karambo right now on Mac and Windows. Uh, note, I've got a MacBook uh, Mini, one of the little ones, not you know the the new thin ones. I I hate this because MacBook, the word MacBook used to be used for the little clamshell ones. But anyway, I don't know those were iBooks. But the, you know, MacBook used to mean a MacBook. Now it's like there's the MacBook Pro, the MacBook Air, just the plain MacBook. Anyway, I've got one of those, and unfortunately, even though it's compatible with Mac, it doesn't run on that particular one. Uh, so they are planning to bring it over to Linux. I love the way I just got totally sidetracked, lost where I was. Anyway, uh, <laughs> they, uh, they are working on porting it over to Linux as well, so it'll be available on all three platforms, which makes me really, really happy. Uh, I like it a lot when they do that. I love the graphics. By the way, what you didn't hear in here, if I didn't mention it before, is the music. Uh, the music's quite good in this as well. The physics on the uh, on the ball are really good. What I didn't show you also is the fact that I can curve the ball, although I alluded to it earlier in. Uh, you probably saw it a couple times. The uh, ball will sparkle green when you are actually putting a spin on the ball, so you'll actually be able to see it, which is pretty cool. And if you're in the focus mode, you'll be able to uh, see the effect of spin in focus, which is pretty cool, too. Anyway, uh, pretty great game. It's about $13 right now on Steam. It, they've been developing it uh, for a long time. They've been working on this game for like a few years now, and it actually shows in the construction. Right now they're finalizing levels. There's There are a lot of levels. It's just like after the third world, uh, it's still in flux, so they're still actually actively working on those levels where the first three worlds are already done. So uh, 12 bucks. 12, 13 bucks, really, no problem for this game. It's uh, it's well done, just professional design. I really like it. I think the guys at Crimson Owl have done excellently. Thumbs up, go get it, darn it. If you uh, if you're not broke, if you if you are broke, then go buy it in a bundle. I hear it shows up in bundles, cheap, cheap, cheaps, cheaps every once in a while. All right. Thank you very much. If you can't tell, I got a cold, and it's really affecting me. Anyway, uh, <laughs> thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it or would like more of it, uh, do me a favor. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more. If there's anything you're looking to see, of course, you can ask me down in the description below. If you are a developer, blah, 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 you can email me at rob at guysgamesandbeer.net. Also, if you have any questions or comments, uh, rob at guysgamesandbeer.net or the comments below are just fine. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you soon. Uh, I will probably be streaming a little bit of Crumble later just for fun. So if it's up, uh, it, it'll probably be up like later, but uh, there will probably be a link down below to that as well. Thanks for watching. Ooh, I get to put my name in here. Huh. Nice crumble. Retro Rob's Gaming Videos